Welcome to my brand new Resogun video where we're gonna take a look at the new DLC as well as the patch which should be out around E3 time. So I got to go to House Marquee, the guys were nice enough to show me off uh, what they're working on and special shout out to Henry who's the lead tester and actually recorded me all this footage with their super state-of-the-art equipment. Uh, so the image quality and everything should be as good as it can be. Uh, so let's take a look at, at what's, what the patch brings. I mean, the biggest, biggest thing uh, that House Marquee really wanted to point out is they fixed an exploit that they are calling the Hamelin exploit, which basically allow you to get a huge amount of enemies to follow you and you could then blow them up with overdrive and rack up an insane score. Uh, so that's been fixed uh, along with a couple of other things, which means that the leaderboards uh, have been reset with this patch. There's lots of balancing, you know, things like, you know, players could also carry two humans, that's fixed. Uh, end of the level rewards have been rebalanced so if you play the level really really well you're gonna get a lot more score than before then a Phobos weapon bug that you know the weapon was too powerful that's been fixed but let's get into it so the patch obviously contains a lot of fixes and improvements and it offers this what you're seeing now which is the ship editor and it also contains the offline two-player mode or rather it allows uh, two people to play offline. So here you're seeing the ship editor, which is kind of nifty. You can see that uh, you can definitely build a pretty big craft. Now the, the hitbox is, uh, is gonna be the same, no matter like how big the craft is. So you can't like cheat that way. Now the building happens block by block, uh, which is pretty simple. You know, you can choose the different colors. Um, and you can also build in a mirror mode so you can make sure like everything goes uh, correctly on the other side where you're building. Uh, you can also clear a bunch of blocks at the same time. So it's pretty simplistic and it's relatively easy to use. And the very cool thing is uh, there's five slots for these uh, ships and of course here you can see you can choose the afterburner color. Uh, but what I was saying is that uh, you can share the ship so other people can browse and see what you've built and download it and play with it uh, if, if you want. I mean, there's obviously a rating system in place as well. So it's pretty powerful, relatively fast to build things. You know, you can try to build your Millennium Falcons and TIE Fighters and and whatnot. It's definitely, it's, it, it's cool. Um, you'll, you'll see it in a little bit um, in the game, so how how the ship looks. So I mean, yes, you can simply create a ship that consists of a single block. It does look a little bit stupid, but if that's the way you want to play, uh, you absolutely can. So the two new, two new game modes, you have survival and you have demolition. So we're going to take a look at demolition first. Now these are part of the uh, paid DLC. It should only be something like four or five bucks. So super cheap and, and uh, remember you got the game for free if you were a PSN Plus member. So definitely support Housemark and go get the DLC. So the guys described this mode to me as sort of uh, Resogun meets Arkanoid and I'd add like pinball to that So you ha you can only do one thing with the ship here, which is to uh, Do that explosion and uh, you can see the timer going around the ship and there's that ball and You have to get the ball, you know to Destroy all the blocks that you see here. So when you for example when you hold down X You can see uh, when, when you hold it down that uh, that red uh, streak shows up on the ball and that uh, that is the angle uh, that that the ball is gonna launch towards so you can you know make it bounce really crazily and obviously you can of course get multi ball uh, there's different power-ups uh, it's it's quite fun uh, it's definitely very different to the main game uh, in, a, in a very very good way I mean you still you know, you have to really, really pay attention to, uh, you know, avoiding the enemies and, and just, just navigating is super important. 
and uh, of course this is still about score but uh, the sort of the pace and the atmosphere are quite a bit different um, than the main game so I, I definitely dug this mode like let's see if I can we can get some uh, uh, multi-ball uh, action on so you can see that the power-ups there uh, if they get if, if the ball and the power-up get caught in in the same uh, explosion that means that uh, whatever that power up brings to you is is effective already on that attack not sure if I explained that very well but you know you get the gist of it right But yeah, the house mark has has worked really hard on all, all all this stuff. I'm pretty sure like all the fans will be will be very happy. They've definitely listened very very closely to the uh, community, and uh, this is not going to be the only bit of DLC that is uh, going to arrive for Resogun. There's definitely going to be a whole lot more. I mean, uh, knowing the house marky guys, you know, ideas are something that they they never ever lack. So this is the demolition mode and uh, seems pretty cool. Obviously you can play it with two players as well, uh, but let's move on. So something they've added uh, via patch is a new camera mode. Now this is the regular camera, but if you go into options, there's an option for retro. Now you can immediately see here what it does. You can see that there's no more up and down movement with the camera and the camera zoomed out a little bit. And we're getting trophies, very nice. So, personally, I actually do prefer to play with the retro camera, uh, just because, like, you know, the up and down movement can be a little bit distracting. Of course, we're all all used to it, uh, so it doesn't matter that much. But there, there's this option now, and it's available in every game mode, as well as uh, local co-op. So let's uh, take a look at survival now. I mean, here's the ships we've made. Uh, you can you can choose which one you want to play with. There's some pretty nifty ones that the uh, house monkey guys had had made for this occasion, so very cool. And now uh, you know you can scroll uh, through lots of hints uh, while it loads uh, instead of like waiting for them to change. So here we go, two players save the last humans. You can see water there on the bridge, which can get destroyed, of course, and the humans will then walk into it, and then they're fucked, and then you're fucked. So offline two player works great, and survival. Uh, again, Housemark's been able to put like a little bit of a twist on this. Now, on the top right, you can see the the uh, one one. You can see the sun and the moon. So there's a day-night cycle. So basically, the main thing is to see how many days can you survive. Obviously, score is important, but it's more about like how many days you're able to survive. So I mean, the days go by pretty fast but the very cool thing is that uh, there's a day night cycle so the visuals do change during play to give you that sense of progression which i think is awesome personally i'm not a fan of these endless modes you know i'd rather play something where i know i can get through it in an hour but at least it's sort of you know when, when you can visually see that okay like like we're getting into the night okay we're hitting day two it, it gives you a nice sense of progression there um but yeah, the two-player works works great. Obviously, it's not going to do any split-screen kind of things, uh, you know. So if if one player boosts, the other player boosts, and you share everything from power-ups and 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 all that, and it makes sense. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it works really well. So thanks very much for watching. Go cop the DLC, support Housemark, and uh, I definitely want to thank the Housemarky guys for letting me come come for a visit, and uh, and that they are uh, recording me some great footage because I'm nowhere near as good as playing the game as they are. Thanks very much.